For years I have sat here, patiently waiting for the perfect opportunity to sneak up behind this fat bitch and choke him out just before he begins recording. It may not be today or tomorrow, but mark my words, Leon Lush is going to get what's coming to him and he will not see it coming. Believe that. Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. It is my explicit Pleasure to be here with you today for just a few short minutes before you move on to something else. I am Leon Lush, and let's get right into it. Well, guys, that's going to do it. As always, make sure to hip thrust that like button and leave a comment down below. I'll see you in the next video. Peace. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just teasing. No, but seriously, welcome back to the third installment of what I think is the most provocative, most profound most well-written series on YouTube, and of course, I'm referring to... Insufferable Instagram. I might have to just change the name to Insufferable Leon Lush if I don't eventually change that intro. Yikes. Now, after my last installment on Supreme Patty, I've had no less than 200... Yo, shit. A little early in the video for flying dildos, but I can't really control that, I guess. It's out of my hands. That's a Nigel thing. Anyways, I've had no less than like 200 to 300,000 requests to do Dan the Meme Man. So my friend Dan here has risen to Instagram stardom over the past several months through just an overall carelessness for life and uh, perpetually posting videos of him being absolutely stupid. But one thing that we've learned in, over the past couple episodes is that the internet eats stupid shit for breakfast. So Dan fits right in here, and uh, with about half a million followers and growing strong, I don't see him slowing down anytime soon. Now listen, I know there's gonna be some comments underneath this video about, Ooh, you're such a hater, you're just jealous or mad because Dan the Meme Man has mm, more subscribers or followers and you're a, you're a hater. You're a hater! Spread some positivity! Don't be hungry. Listen, I have nothing personal against these people I'm making videos about. With the exception of Boonk. Well, I'm getting shit on stage. Boonk is a cunt. But everyone else, these Supreme Patties, Dan the Meme Man, like, I can care less. You want to act like a re idiot on the internet for a little bit of clout? That's totally fine. I'm not going to lose any sleep about it, man. You can do you. I just do not care. I simply like to highlight or showcase some of the more extreme measures these young kids, or anyone in fact these days, are willing to go to for a little bit of internet fame. For the sake of comedy, of course, and because when you put Instagram in the title of a YouTube video, it automatically performs way better than any other video. <laughs> Alright, let's take a look at some clips. A lemon, a lime, and some stairs? Fuck it, I don't care. We didn't have to wait long at all before we were immediately greeted by our dear friend, the Supreme Patty. <sighs> Oh! Oh, Jesus Christ! Oh, Dan! Sled gang. Sled gang? A lot of ER shit. What? <laughs> oh, my fuck. Oh, what? Well, it's no secret why these sociopaths make videos together. But in all honesty, I mean, this is a pretty well done production. I give the execution a 7 out of 10. I think the idea is an 8 out of 10. Overall experience for me as a consumer of this incredible content. I think 9 out of 10, the only thing I could have asked for, the only thing that I personally wanted was a little more blood on the face after he popped out of the barrel after being smashed down 75 sets of bleachers and into a steel rail. A little more blood on the face really would have been the cherry on top for me, but I'll deal. 9 out of 10 is not a bad score. By the way, that phrase, whole lot of ER shit, which is also the caption to this video, is a glaring representation of Boonk's influence trickling down into the other parts of the internet. Now, I don't think Dan the Me Man or Supreme Patty, for that matter, are even close to as big of a cunt as Boonk. You know, they're doing stuff that's more detrimental to themselves, not not doing the Boonk shit where they're out, you know, fucking with society and other people. Dan does a little bit of that, which I don't like, but most of it's him fucking just injuring himself for views, basically, which I can get behind. Hey, it's Dan the Meme Man. Some of you guys hate my guts. Oh, no, Dan, we don't hate your guts. <laughs> Come on. We just think you're stupid. Well, guess what? I'm getting real tired of your shit. Yeah. Oh. Oh. oh my god. Nailed it. Oh. 
Oh, no, it's, I'll, it's cool. I'll come back around. Thanks. Oh, fuck. Damn it. All right, I'll come back around. Okay, now Dan's just being an obnoxious piece of shit. I liked him better when he was just hurting himself. Hi. Hi. Thank you. Have oh. I'm not making you another one. Oh. Woo! Ice cold. Shut the drive through window right in his face. But Dan, he's a persistent man, so they give him one more shot. I swear I'll take it this time. If you squeeze it, I will call the cops on you and get your license plate number. All right. Oh. Uh is he gonna squeeze? Is he gonna squeeze it? That is ridiculous for you to come through and waste our product like that. I have, is a little ridiculous. I have Tourette's. I can't help it. Oh, now he's. Oh, now you're just. Thank you can't say that. So you don't have, if I drop don't have Tourette's. This, call the cops. Yeah, because you're littering. The co you're gonna call yeah. the cops. <laughs> oh, there it goes. Uh, I didn't. Oh, what a cunt. I just can't imagine that phone call to the cops. Ah, yes, there's a man that keeps circling back through a drive through and wasting our large soft drinks by squeezing them too hard and spilling them on the ground. Please help. Good on you, Jessica. I will call the police. Go! Go! Danny, go! Sled gang! Sled gang! <laughs> Sledding! I mean, we gotta be real with ourselves. That man just showed some real technical sledding skills on that escalator. And he's not really hurting anyone, right? In, in, in this case, so I, I can't... It's kind of funny. I, I, can't, I don't know what else to say. Listen, the milk and cereal was an unnecessary added touch, Dan, okay? I know you're not cleaning that shit up. Some poor janitor's gonna get stuck cleaning up after your dumbass. Fucking... Now, there are a lot of variables when you live a lifestyle like my friend Dan here. You never know what's going to happen one day to the next. You're always trying new, adventurous, daring things. But there's always one consistency in situations like this, and that is that it's not a question of if as much as a question of when you're going to seriously injure yourself. And in this case, it was December 17th, 2017 for Dan the Meme Man. Roll the picture. Now, fortunately for Sweet Baby Dan, there is nothing that people on the internet love more than watching other people get hurt. It's clicks and views, baby. Let's see how it happens. Don't fucking do this. Don't fucking really? do this. You only live once. Yeah, unless you're, yeah, you're right. You're gonna fucking die. I'm talking about it. I'm 21 years old. You're being stupid as fuck. I'm gonna stand here. Now, it's nice to see that Dan has somebody in his corner that has a little bit of self-awareness. But Dan's not having that shit. My man's like, yo, Dan, this is probably this is probably a bad idea. You're probably gonna seriously injure yourself. But Dan's like, no, no, no. You think if we wrap this video up by me pushing out, by chickening out, and not flying down this 100-step flight of stairs on a steep incline in a sled is gonna get us one and a half million views? No, you gotta sled that shit. So strap these pills to my chest and let's fuck this donkey. Here he goes. Oh, here we go. Oh boy. Oh, this isn't gonna end good. No! Oh. Oh, my face hurts just watching that. He's hurt. Thanks, I think I'll skip the full graphic video. Now, as expected, there was a plethora of laughing until I'm crying emojis littered throughout the comments to this particular video, but I, I wanna hone in specifically on what my friend Dylan Henley said. He summed it up quite nicely. He said this, what a fucking moron. All this for some exposure? <laughs> Dylan, yes! Have you learned nothing? This is the internet. Sometimes a broken wrist and having your jaw wired shut because you broke your mandible in three places is the cost of fame, my friend. Get with the times. You want some Instagram followers? Grab your sled, buddy. Don't even wear a helmet. That shit's for pussies. That is gonna do it! Thank you so much for joining me for another episode of Insufferable Instagram. I hope you had a little bit of a giggle or a quick smile watching this asshole seriously injure himself for a little bit of internet club. Now, if you could just do Leon a quick favor and grab a sled of your own, find a flight of stairs with no less than 267 steps, lie head first on that sled and fly down that flight of stairs with no helmet because helmets are for pussies. And when you reach the bottom and absolutely decimate every single bone in your body, have your friend pick up your fucking limp, wiggly jellyfish body full of broken bones and have them just reach down behind your ass cheeks and push those hips forward and hip thrust that motherfucking like button for me. Thank you so much. I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Yeah. Peace.